What is up guys? Goodbitch42 here. Welcome back to some more Project Zomboid. Uh, last time we left off, everything went horrible. It's not good. Everything went bad. Like, like, real bad. Like, look at this. <laughs> look at this. This is bad. Very bad. And I don't know how long this is gonna take to recover. But, as you know me, as you know the character, Doc, we are not gonna stop until we get this cure. So... I'm going to basically go on a suicide mission today. And we're going to see if we live. I don't know if we're going to, but we're going to try. We're going to try our damnedest. So, as you know, we are currently dealing with a burn on our right foot from that crazy fire that happened last episode that just strangely started out of nowhere. It was it was wild the way I was just in a building or outside of a building. And then a fire just started. It was absolutely insane. Uh, but regardless, we need to... We need to figure ourselves out because we are in a lot of pain. We we also are very screwed when it comes to the combat, and also we can't really walk. So I thought, well, I do need lots of ammo, and as much as I wanted to hit up West Point, I don't think that's gonna go very well. So I have one other alternative: the frigate, this gigantic ship that I have not looted yet. I'm thinking today's the day we do it. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, that is actually just, just batshit crazy. What is wrong with you? But you guys forget, I'm a risk taker. <laughs> and <laughs> I need food. I need guns and ammo. And if I can get guns and ammo, I can still fight. And that is my thought process today. If I can still fight... With what I've got, then by God, I'm gonna fight. And I'm gonna fight with all my heart. So, time to take up all of our pistols, all our shotguns, and anything else I have. Because we are gonna go raid a Navy ship. I know, I'm a literal psychopath. But I gotta do what I gotta do. And that means getting more guns and ammo before I eventually heal over. The burn will not kill me, but it will slowly ruin everything. So I need to get this going as soon as possible. So I gotta take all of my stuff, or at least a good amount of it. Might need to take some extra stuff out because, you know, I need actual space for the guns and ammo I'm probably gonna steal. Luckily, this is a four-seater car, so I did get lucky on that. And then I think from there, we're gonna probably go to Valley Station. And try to get into Louisville afterwards. I don't think that's all going to happen today. But we're going to make the attempts to get into these places. Now, if I could put all this stuff away before my back eventually just shatters from all the weight. That'd be fantastic. Might need to put one of my wrenches away. Is there anything in my actual... Oh, yeah, the TV. I was like, why is uh, why am I still very over-encumbered? I forgot I have a TV in my hands. Yeah, might need to put that away. I need to put that away. Okay. That makes a lot of sense as to why I was dying. Now, this gun uses uh, ACP ammo. I don't know if we have too much. Okay, we have four boxes of ACP. And then we also have five boxes of shotgun shells. Now, do we have a 9mm in here somewhere? We might. Uh, we do. Oh, perfect. Okay. So then, I think what I'll do, actually, is I might use the 9mm. Oh, no, actually, no, I have the extended mag on this, so I'm going to keep that. And I'm going to take this shotgun, I'm going to put it on my back. Because we're going to go crazy today. We need to get onto this ship, which is going to require us to use ammo to get ammo. <laughs> as weird as that may sound. I'm also going to take some of this food and put it in my backpack, because we're probably going to need it. Is there anything else that I desperately need right now? I don't think so. I think everything else we are fine on. Uh, the power hasn't gone out yet, thankfully. But the water has. So we're kind of in a weird a little little problem area right now with everything. I'm going to open up all these boxes of pistol ammo. That's the gun I'm going to try and mainly use this entire time. I don't really want to go overboard with using the shotgun too much. Because if I do that... I'm going to wake up the whole neighborhood. Oh, I can reload while driving. Huh. More you know. <laughs> Who would have thought? Not me. But all right. We're off. And uh, 
I'll see you at the frigate. All right. We're at the bridge. Wow, there's a lot of, lot of, lot of, lot of broken cars on that bridge. So I'm hoping that over here it's going to be a little bit quieter. <laughs> okay, don't think it's going to be super quiet, but it might just be a little bit quieter around here. And somewhere in this area is the boat. So we're going to need to double check. Okay, it's a little further down. So luckily when we get there, the only things we're going to really run into are a few tents, as you can see. Now, can I pull my car in here? That's a really good question. Uh, I can. Okay, cool. I was, like, hoping there was going to be a little bit of an opening in the trees somewhere. Okay, let's park here, because we'll make this place our home for the moment. All right. Now, we need to be incredibly careful. I cannot fight many zombies on my own. If I have to pull out the shotgun, I, I will have to. I should probably also do this. <coughs> because in case I have to pull out a shotgun, I just have to pray that this is enough ammo. I'll probably have to get into my car, roll the window down, and just do drive-bys. But we'll see what happens. So first, let's check. It looks decently empty. I gotta do this like, like you know, like the FBI and like the cops on TV. You just gotta walk in ever so slowly, consistently aiming. Okay, we're good. Awesome. There's still some food in here, which is great. So I'll actually, I'll eat half of this right now. There's a bed here. That's big, so I can actually sleep. The only thing that scares me is how rigged this house is, but, uh, you know, it's fine. I do have to be decently careful with this. It does seem scarily quiet, I will say. It's very, very quiet. Like, too quiet. Like, where are all the zombies? It's weird. Maybe they're all on the ship. All right. I'm going to be doing some looting here, so I'll be right back. If anything crazy happens, something crazy happens. Oh, baby, that's an M16. That is, that's an assault rifle. Oh my. Okay, that's, we're taking that. That's ours. Luckily for me, I know about this little walk-in thing that you can do if you hold shift and left click with the walk tab. So this is quite useful. But still, not the best to get around. We haven't really found too much stuff, but we have found a decent amount of ACP ammo. Um, and then obviously that assault rifle was big. So I think what I'm gonna do... Wow, I'm already tired? Damn, Doc, you need to work on your freaking, uh... <laughs> well, then again, you did sleep in a bathroom in a chair. So, honestly, I understand why you're tired. Actually, now that I now that I think about it from, uh, from your perspective, that kind of sucks. So, <laughs> I get it now. I also grabbed a double holster just in case because I might actually rock double pistols at some point once my aiming gets better. Um, and then also I grabbed some knee pads. For my nice, for my knees. Can I protect my knees? But I think that's all we can do today. I think we're just gonna go into this house and chill and relax. And then tomorrow, we're gonna jump in there. So I'm gonna go relax, heal up, eat some food, call it a day. All right, rise and shine, guys. Another day, another limp. Let's actually fix our leg a little bit. Let's, uh... Oh, I can clean it with the bandage. Oh, that's interesting. <clears throat> Didn't know I could do that. Ah, heavy paint now. Awesome. Great. Oh. All right. Sadly, there's only this one sink, but we do have an entire, uh... Oh, yeah, that's right. I do have the entire river right there. Instead of wasting a water, I'm gonna... Hold up. Wait a second. I'm stupid. Give me just a moment. Oh, I can't use it. Man. Okay, fine. Oh, I thought it was a good idea. Honestly. Now, here comes the dangerous part of today. Shockingly, there was no zombies here. Which I still find very strange. But, that does not mean we are in the clear yet. Because we need to get onto that ship and see if it has anything useful in it. I'm hoping for guns and ammunition. Probably a lot of crewmates still left over. I wouldn't be surprised. But we gotta try. 
We do need more stuff. And if we're going to be stuck like this, I don't want to have to waste another week waiting for my leg to decently heal. We just got to fight through the pain. We got to fight through. We got to get the job done. No matter what. No matter what. So I'm going to be a little over encumbered consistently. Unless I put my wrench away. Maybe my bat. Because we're not really going to be melee fighting. In all honesty, I'm going to be real honest. We're not going to be melee fighting. We're going to be just consistently shooting. If we have to stab something, we'll stab something. But I'm really not going to try to stab something. This is probably the most riskiest play I've ever done in my entire Zomboid career. And you're about to witness it live on YouTube. So congratulations. You get to see possibly the stupidest or the coolest thing I've ever done. <clears throat> so let's see. I didn't check these crates. Okay, there was nothing in them. Never mind, they weren't worth it. Alright. Let's check out this ship, because it is ginormous, and I have never been on it before. Oh boy, that's a big ship. That's a big navy ship. One small step for man. Another small step for mankind. Part of me is a little nervous. There could be a lot of zombies on this ship. There could be none. I don't know. This is going to be very interesting to uh, find out. I also feel like this place is going to be very heavily close quarters. So I'm going to have to be really, really careful. Because I for sure am already uncomfortable in here. Some really cool custom blocks though. Do I hear a zombie? just don't know. God, there's so many corridors. Ooh, I do not like this. This makes me uncomfy. Okay, that's the power room. We're gonna close that. I don't like I don't like how close quarters this is. Oh man, this makes me so uncomfortable. Oh, I don't like this. Okay. Uh well we found the gym bottle, so that's useful. Oh man, I don't like this at all. This makes me so uncomfy. Uh oh. Well, we've already got a friend, it seems. God, I don't like this at all. Hey, hey. Oh, 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 my heart. Oh, I didn't scream, but you saw the mouse move. Oh, 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 my God. My heart and my soul. My heart and my soul was not ready for that. Holy shit. Oh my god. Like I said, I didn't like how close quarters it was. It's so small in there, I can't move. Okay. Let's try this again. Oh shit, there's a hole downstairs. Ah, that's where they're coming from. Okay. <laughs> oh. Oh, my heart. Oh, my very, very fragile heart. Let's just uh, reload this bad boy. Yep, this is going to be the most dangerous thing I've ever done. Yep, this is definitely... Yep, this is definitely, definitely the most dangerous thing I have ever done in my life. Yep, this is definitely going to be it. This is going to be my day. Oh my goodness. Where's my knife? I don't want to waste all the ammo. I don't have a lot. So I don't want to waste all of it. <clears throat> but there does seem to be a decent amount of zombies on this ship. I'm sad they're not navy related, but that's fine. Thank God Doc is a decent shot. Because if if he wasn't, this would have went south real quick. Alright, there is a lot of zombies on there. I'm going to constantly keep reloading <clears throat> whenever I have a moment to myself. Oh. oh, that's a lot. Oh, yeah, that's a that's a hefty amount coming. I'm gonna go down here. <laughs> Don't mind me, fellas. I'm going this way. Close 
closer. Pop. Pop goes the weasel. The amount of anxiety going through my system right now is absolutely insane. I hope y'all know. All right. I've been fighting zombies on this deck for a while now. They keep coming in and out. They keep trickling. So I think it's about time I do the ballsy move that everyone wants to see. I'm going to go under. All right. I need to be very careful. I need to consistently watch my back. Okay, that seems to be a kitchen of some sort. If there are way too many, I will immediately leave. But we need to consistently watch my back. <coughs> well, at least I know I got a door there to protect me. Okay. And the cafeteria room is clear. So, it's going to be so hard, but I need to try and remember where I am in here. The, I mean, this place is huge. Especially under the ship. I have no idea where I'm going. So, I got to really just try and pay attention and remember where I've gone. Um, actually, I have an idea. There's a lot of sheets of paper in here. If I just start placing items on the ground, like random stuff, I can use it as like a way to get back to the top of the ship. Might not be a bad idea. Um, how well does this blend into the floor? Oh, not at all. Okay. Let's just place random sheets of paper occasionally. So that way I know where to go when I figure places out. I think that's going to be a decent idea. Okay. We keep moving. And we keep on going. Let's drink some soda. There's, I think that's above my head. I actually can't tell where that noise is coming from. We just got to keep moving because this ship is ginormous. And if we really get into any trouble... We pull out the shoddy. Oh, I hate hearing the zombies everywhere. Oh, it's so uncomfortable. Oh, it's so uncomfy. Is this a bathroom? Oh. That's where that's coming from. I think that's the same thing. Okay, so the zombies are there. Noted. Okay. Let's keep moving. Okay, what is this? It's a stairwell. That makes me go further. Let's just double check. Okay, that's where they've broken out of. It's a hallway. Okay. <laughs> I have to do this like 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 some stealth mission. Like this is crazy. Okay. Let's go here. We're gonna close this. I think there's a gym in there, it looked like. <laughs> just consistently with my gun out. At all times. Okay, this is the gym. Noted. I would take one of these treadmills, but I can't because I am weak, fragile boy. Um, I love the Schwarzenegger pro poster. Can I take that? <gasps> I can! I'm gonna take it. <laughs> what else we got here? Stargate. I love that I can actually pick this stuff up. Blade. That's interesting. There is a water dispenser here, though. So I will fill up my waters. In case I get real thirsty. Okay. Because once we, we kind of, like, clear this ship out, like, we'll be kind of decent to go. Of course, I'm soaking wet right now. Why wouldn't I be? All right. Uh, let's keep going. Okay, that's a big room over here. Let me put my piece of paper down. This is a place we're going to want to double check. Okay, keep moving. Keep struggling. Okay. What's in here? Oh my god, it's a bunch of food. 
There's food in here. Oh, man. If I wasn't so bummed, I would grab it, but I can't. <laughs> what else we got? Metal. I don't know what's, like, just a prop and what stuff I can actually loot from, so this might take a while to actually fully check this place. Um, what's that? Okay, some shorts. Another sack of potatoes. Some nails. Ugh, this is gonna be hard. There's so many different types of, like, random props I've never seen before, but there's a lot of food here. Oh, God. Hospital. Oh, shoot. Okay, wait, this could help me. If there's actually anything useful in here. There is a bottle disinfectant, which I will take. But I don't think there's going to be much in here. It seems like a lot of the ship just has random stuff in it. First aid. Good already dodge for the future. I have to leave the ship and come back in. This might take... This might be like a two-parter. With how this is going. I, I did not expect this ship to be as big and vast as it is. Like, I knew it was a big ship. But I didn't expect it to be like this crazy. Um, this might have to be several parts. Because I need to explore this entire ship. I don't know what's in here. I've never explored it before. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna have to do. It's getting late. It's been a long episode. Okay, let's, uh, let me just put a sheet of paper down. Right there. I'm gonna use this paper as my guide. <laughs> it will be what brings me to prosperity. <laughs> As it will not kill me, I promise. It won't. Let me also turn that light on. Now, if the power goes out while I'm on this ship, I will scream and I will cry. There will... I will scream bloody murder if this if the ship runs out of power. That is not what I want. If I'm on this ship, when the power goes out, I will lose my mind. I will be so terrified. Um, do I have a flashlight? I don't think I do. I think I might have one in my car. I definitely need to double check that. Okay. Well, I think... Oh, there's a fridge right here. Okay, if I can at some point... <gasps> ice cream! <gasps> oh my god, ice cream. Holy crap. Oh my god, there's so much ice cream. <gasps> Look at all the ice cream. There's so much food. Look at all the food. I'm gonna take, uh, I'm gonna take a few of these. I'm gonna... Actually, I'm gonna take this beer. That's mine. That's how I'm gonna go to sleep tonight. Uh, and this nanner. Okay. Well, it's nice to know there's a lot of food here. I'm gonna also take some water from this sink. Lots of canned goods here as well. Like I said, this is gonna take a lot of exploring, to, I think, to get this place done. It's, it's gonna take a while. Oh, all right. Up, oh, and I'm tired. Yep, yep, we're going home. We are leaving. Okay, so it's this way. Cool. Should I put a piece of paper right at the like front door so that way I know like, hey, this is this is where I start. Yeah, let's put it right there. Okay, let's go up the stairs. Not get jumped by like twenty-seven zombies. We're good. We're good. Okay, cool. Yeah, we're gonna have to do this in parts because I didn't expect the ship to be as big as it is. But that is gonna be it for me today. We lived shockingly. I don't know how, but we did. There's still lots of zombies in here. As we can hear them, but we're gonna have to take this uh, day at a time, and, and maybe next time it'll go a little easier, a little less on the on the heart. But okay, that's gonna be it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode of me kind of risking it all, but we did find some decent stuff today. We do have an M16 alongside a shotgun now and a bunch of ammunition and as we continue to explore the ship maybe we'll find more stuff that'll be of use but that's it for me if you like what you see make sure to subscribe to the channel and like the video and also keep in mind i do stream i am i do the streams quite a lot so if you like zomboid or you like rimworld or a bunch of other games i stream all the time on my twitch basically every day so make sure to go follow it but that is going to be it for me i hope you all enjoy and you guys have a great rest of your day Bye!